the way this nozzle works is you squeeze the lever, it opens the main poppet valve, and the two-handed clip latch the nozzle open, and gasoline starts flowing through the body of the nozzle. The first thing is it flows through this plastic venturi and forces open this anti-drain valve. Originally, the anti-drain valve was to keep kids from emptying the hoses at night. Today, it forms a venturi with the seat, and as the gasoline rushes through here, a low pressure area is created and it starts sucking air in through the sensing port down at the tip of the spout. Air flows through a black tube through the inside of the spout, up over the diaphragm, down into the venturi, into the fuel, and out. So as gasoline is flowing like this, there's a continuous flow of air back through here like this. When gasoline in the vehicle's tank comes up and covers the sensing port, that flow of air is shut off and the diaphragm is sucked up, shutting off the nozzles. Slowly, squeeze the lever, gasoline covers the sensing port, the diaphragm comes up, the white plunger drops, lowering this end of the lever, which allows the main poppet valve to close. Shortly after the 70s, self-service came into widespread use and an immediate problem was discovered in that you latch the nozzle open and the customer orders $10 worth of fuel and when the $10 worth of fuel has been dispensed, the pump shuts off. But the nozzle is still latched open and can be hung back up in the pump boot latched open so that the next customer opens it up and takes a bath. Today's nozzles have a number of safety features in them. They still function like the original nozzles, except we now have a one-handed hold open latch. The fuel flows through the body of the nozzle, and the check valve and venturi has been moved up to this end of the spout to reduce spillage and retain the liquids. But we still have fuel flowing through here, air being sucked into the sensing port, up into the fuel and out. Gasoline covers the sensing port. The nozzle shuts off. Only with this nozzle, if it's a prepay sale, when $10 worth of gasoline has been dispensed, it is a pressure sensing nozzle. When the pump shuts off, the pressure comes off, and the nozzle shuts off and cannot be reopened until the pump is turned back on. If something should happen and this nozzle were to fall from the vehicle's tank, we have an attitude shut off in here, a little ball that rolls back and forth when the spout's down, it dispenses fuel, but should the spout rise above the horizon, the ball rolls back, blocks the sensing line, and shuts the nozzle off. So today's nozzles have all of these safety features built into them that the original nozzles did not. 